welcome to another um, screencast from me. So today I thought why not show you a cool tool um, which is called cross-browser testing and it does exactly what you think it would do. It lets you test your sites uh, in multiple browsers. So um, first off I pay for my account and I'm not paid to make this video but I just think it's a great service. So um, cross-browser testing is just an, a web service. You can sign up, pay a few bucks and um, get access. And it lets you do a few different things. It lets you live test, which is um, you get a connection to a, to a machine which is uh, real and you can uh, test your sites on there. And um, this is the thing I use most of the time and actually it's the only thing I have used um, at the moment and I will show you this in a moment and then you uh, can uh, can use the screenshots feature you get a bunch of screenshots and can compare them it's awesome you can do selenium tests if you have never heard of uh, selenium go google it um, you can test local files uh, I haven't done this um, but it seems to work um, with the Java applet or you can connect via terminal and do a few things and um, it's good to know it's here if you need it but um, uh, yeah haven't used it uh, until now and then there's the quick test bookmarklet I have just uh, seen this the first time and I will definitely bookmark this and use it in the future so um, let's go into the live testing app you can see you can use the, uh, you can you um, start a live test and here are the recent tests yeah this is a recent test and you can go there but it's um, behind an HD access so you won't see anything um, then there are more recent tests uh, if you are a CodePen Pro user you can try out your code pens in cross-browser testing um, without having to pay anything. That's awesome. And you see a, diff a couple of different combinations of um, devices and browsers and yeah, let's just run a test. You can enter a domain. Let's say I want to test my own site. You can choose a desktop or mobile device desktop choose an OS. Let's say we want to test on Windows 8 and on um, index bar. You see the green ones you can choose. If you want to test on IE 11 you have to choose Windows 8.1 but it does that automatically. But let's say Windows 8, Internet Explorer 10, other software which is installed but we don't need. You can choose a resolution but you can change this later I think and um, then just run the test. Requesting the session, launching the test and then you get um, this view and here is your window to the to the actual um, machine you are connected to. If I scroll, I scroll the cross-browser testing site and um, you can hit this scale to fit and then the um, that doesn't work should scale this window to your browser window. Oh, okay, you can... Ah, uh, yeah, so nice. Okay, nice. And if I haven't turned this on, it's just how big it is. So, this is my site in Internet Explorer 10. You can just click in here and then you can scroll, um, hover over things. It's a little bit laggy, but um, basically it just works. So you have, you have, um, you can use so many different um, devices and operating systems and browsers and all the different combinations of those. It's awesome. It's I think it's way better than to buy a bunch of devices. And, um, sure, it's nice and good to have a few different devices to test on it because it's just an, another feeling. Um, but if you if a client says hey on my Android XY 10 whatever um, there's a little bug then you can go right into here and see the bug instead of 
buying a device and running the OS or something like that. And it's, it's really nice to quickly test a couple of things and just see if, if everything's working. And um, yeah, you can take a snapshot, you can record a video and all these awesome things which I have not used, but um, it's really, really cool. So you can change the browser from here or the operating system or switch to a mobile device. Let's say you want to test on um, the Galaxy S5 and the Android Power Browser 4.4. Then switch the test. You get a new session and hopefully it will work. Might take a second or two. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. So it looks like cross browser testing uh, went down. This uh, never happened before when I tried to test it, but um, that's the way it is. So um, I'm back in cross browser testing. I've switched to Android Galaxy S4 with the 4.4 Android browser and loaded. Um, my website and you see this is a Android device you can scale to fit now you have it on your complete screen um, so you can see everything and you can just um, hold down the mouse button um, and then scroll with that not sure maybe the scroll wheel is also working oh, no you have to track with the mouse and as you can see a little bit of a bit laggy, but um, it works good enough to see if everything's okay. It's not good to try out uh, if the animations are really nice or something like that, but it works um, to see if the alignment is right and if something's broken or so. If you really want to, to do a user experience test, you really should have a few devices um, you can take in your hand and um, use with those. So yeah, that's it. What you can do is change the orientation. There's an FAQ or something like that in the uh, somewhere here on the site um, which explains why you can't do this, but yeah, it's fine, I guess. Um, I've, I've seen there's a free trial, so you can, can try crossbrowsertesting.com and see if you like it and then um, switch to a regular account. I really recommend it and um, it's an easy way to test on a few different devices and operating systems. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.